They say that history can be stranger than fiction, so it's no wonder so many hit movies head to the past for their characters and drama. But no matter how much modern filmmakers may try to stay faithful to their sources, some incredible mistakes, changes, or downright insane inaccuracies always slip through. Here are 10 famous movies that got history wrong. Pocahontas the songs are as classic as in any Disney hit, but the story of Pocahontas and John Smith's romance is where this story departs from history. Mainly because the Native American girl in question was 10 years old when John Smith arrived in the New World. Thankfully, there was no actual romance between them, just friendship. It's alright. Which kind of makes Disney's decision to turn it into a love story kinda weird. Are you not entertained? Gladiator. The Roman epic actually did a good job of portraying the idea of ancient Rome, but made its biggest mistake in casting the villain as a helpless, weak emperor. The real Commodus was so insane a ruler that he kinda deserved to be the star. Renaming himself as the new Hercules, renaming Rome after himself, renaming each of the months of the year to his own names. Commodus even took to the gladiator arena himself, killing countless exotic animals, battling other slaves, and clubbing the poor to death. The crowds were stunned and confused, obviously, but it was the fact that he paid himself from Rome's treasury that appeared to have led to his assassination. And not by a proud gladiator either, but a wrestler during a bath. Titanic Most audiences knew that the movie version of Titanic sinking was as much fiction as fact, but when it came to First Officer William Murdoch, director James Cameron's decision to show him shooting passengers then himself courted controversy. Cameron claimed it wasn't an act of cowardice, but taking blame for the crash. Except testimony and inquiries never determined who was truly at fault, and just as many people view Murdoch as a naval hero. His family protested the film with good reason, showing how dangerous it can be to tell fictional stories about actual people. Argo Ben Affleck's story of a fake movie crew infiltrating Iran to rescue Americans won him an Oscar, and some critics north of America's border. When the movie released giving the CIA all the credit, President Jimmy Carter came forward to clarify that 90% of the idea and planning came from Canadian intelligence. Affleck's character Tony Mendez still got the hostages out, but the Canadian caper, as it was later called, wasn't the CIA masterpiece the movie implied. Django Unchained As over the top as the movie got, Quentin Tarantino made sure that audiences would find the scenes of slaves being forced to fight to the death were as horrifying as they really had been. Except that they probably never happened. Tarantino named the movie Mandingo as one of his favorites, but no American historians have found any proof that slave owners ever engaged in the practice, since it doesn't even make economic sense in the larger slave trade. We guess that's good news since it was all pretty terrible. Pirates of the Caribbean Being rich in the 1800s really was the life, and for Elizabeth Swan, it even meant red-hot coals are slid into bed with her to heat her feet as she slept. In reality, though, bed warmers were filled with warm, not hot coals, and were only used to, well, warm the bed before the sleeper got into it. I knew it. Raiders of the Lost Ark Every fan of Indiana Jones remembers his standoff with Nazi soldiers, threatening to blow up the Ark with a bazooka over his shoulder. But when you realize that the movie is set in 1936, and Germany was still years away from designing the first rudimentary anti-tank rocket launchers, it would be just as historically accurate if Indy was holding a ray gun. Sherlock Holmes Guns are the culprit yet again, but it's the small detail here that baffles us. In the opening sequence, the police can be seen arming up with pistols and shotguns. Shotguns loaded with plastic shotgun shells. Since the guns of the era would have used brass shells, and plastic ones weren't invented until 1960, this mistake seems like an almost impossible one to make. Bravo, Inspector. Have a cigar. Mulan. Disney got off the hook by setting their story centuries in the past, and thousands of miles from their usual locales. But the historical mistakes followed. Not only is the writing Mulan paints on her arm simplified Chinese, created and implemented in 1950, but the parts of the Great Wall of China featured in the movie weren't built until the 1300s, when the other medieval Disney princesses were being kissed by Prince Charming's. The Revenant There are plenty of little anachronisms to point out in the movie, from zippers to American accents and even wild boars roaming the wilderness when they weren't brought to North America until the turn of the 20th century. But our favorite by far is the idea that a hunter could be mauled by a bear in the dead of winter, when nearly all North American bears are hibernating. Those are just a few of our favorite historical inaccuracies in hit movies, but there are plenty more where that came from. Let us know which ones we've missed, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.